Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to share with you my 3D printed air scrubber. Uh, this is nothing more than basically a filter to try to filter out some of the fumes that come from 3D printing. Um, it's by no means scientifically studied or anything like that. I don't have any measuring equipment. I do, or I will say, there is a difference in the smell. Um, so I may not be saving my, my lungs in any way, but it, it definitely smells better down in my 3D printing room. So let's get started on how I made this. Uh, first thing I did, the first thing I did was go to uh, this website and uh, I'll put a link right here. Um, and I downloaded the model. There's a couple different models there. Uh, they state to use surgical mask, which is impossible to come by right now, and activated carbon. So what I did is I used some coffee filter I had laying around with the activated carbon. Hey guys, this is uh, this is the website that I found this filter on. I found it on a link in some random YouTube video. It's called 3dprintfilemarket.com. Uh, I wish I knew the video I saw it from, um, but I, I don't remember. I, I remember just getting linked to this and I came check it out and I went ahead and decided to print it. Um, this is actually for the other one. I think I'm printing this one, but uh, I'm going to try this out and see how it works. I don't do a lot of ABS printing, but I do, I do a lot of printing. So I just, I want to start trying to filter the air a little bit and see how it works. Okay guys, here's what I'm building my filter media out of. Coffee filter and activated carbon. Uh, you find this in the aquarium section, the fish section, pet section, whatever you want to call it, of your local store. Um, so. I'm going to put about 40 millimeters into my printed filter, 40, I'm sorry. I'm going to put a 40 millimeter fan on this to blow through uh, this way. And I'm going to put the carbon in here. And they say from the directions on the site, I'll link it below, to put about five millimeters of carbon uh, in there on a normal fan. And this is a normal 12 volt uh, 40 millimeter fan. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole in my cabinet and uh, basically I'm going to put this into the cabinet. Probably just seal around with some silicone or something to hold it in there uh, once I attach the fan and then wire up my fan from the inside the cabinet with a, a 12 volt supply. Um, basically all you do is print these two parts. There is a mesh to the top part that I could not get to slice correctly for whatever reason. Pretty much gave up on it. My coffee filter holds the activated carbon in there just fine. So I decided to skip that part of the mesh. Um, but basically two parts, a top part with a mesh, a bottom part. Okay guys, sorry for the noise but the printer's going. This is my finished product. Um, Actually, I had that backwards when I said that. The bottom was PLA, top was PETG. Uh, I just fill the top with the activated carbon. This back here is the fan that pulls air into the filter and out the top. I can feel a little bit of airflow there. So um, it does reduce the smell. Again, no scientific studies, but I mean, others have made these and claim they get rid of their ABS smell. I only print in PETG so far. Um, I, I, I'm not sure I want to go ABS route just yet. I don't really have anything I think that's going to be a requirement for ABS, but we'll see. Uh, I may test that in the future. And there's the one I was talking about, PET on, PETG on the bottom, PLA on the top. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was pretty easy print. Um, and gets rid of the smell. Hey, that's all we have for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out the links below, link to everything. Uh, let me know how it goes if you build your own. See if you notice any difference. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.